It's now over 30 years since the Women's Centre started to operate in Kirklees and Calderdale. During that time, it has offered a range of services to women within the community. Mental health support, domestic dispute issues, housing and financial advice, plus of course special projects, including working with female migrants. I'm joined by Veronica Susatkova, uh, who's going to tell us more about the Women's Centre. But first, Veronica, what's your involvement with it? The role I would really like to talk about is my newest role, which is a role of advisor and trainer on a new project called Connecting Opportunities. Connecting Opportunities, yes. Uh, it heads your note paper even though, doesn't it? What is it and what's your involvement in that then? So Connecting Opportunities works with new migrants to develop their skills and opportunities to find work and be part of local community. It's a project which is uh, covering area called Leeds City Region, which is basically covering the whole of the West Yorkshire with parts of North Yorkshire as well. It's a unique partnership of 10 organisations which have a very great history and experience of working with migrants as well. The project is funded by the Big Lottery and the European Social Fund uh, as part of the larger programme called Building Better Opportunities. And I need to say that I feel really proud being part of this project because it's the, the only one through this stream of funding which works solely with migrants. Yeah, it sounds a bit of a big deal and a lot of work. Surely you must have other organisations in partnership with you. Yes, it is a partnership of 10 organisations. Uh, the lead organisation on the partnership is Migration Yorkshire. And then it's an array of organisations which cover uh, different areas uh, but the unique aspect really is that whenever the people would join the project across the whole of the area they would get the same service and the service covers uh, mostly activities connected to getting better skills to be able to gain employment to be able to access learning of English to be able to help to be able to get helped and supported by mentors and befrienders as well as access uh, support around mental health and we are really aiming to be able to reach out to people who are really the most disadvantaged mm. who might not have been able to get support before who might have been trafficked even who might have experienced extreme difficulties and might not have also have great level of English to yes. be able to communicate what is the diversity that, that you cover for migrants? Is it anybody or is okay. it specific? Yeah. It is quite a wide range of people who are able to access the service. It would be anyone who's arrived to the UK within the last 10 years and hasn't gained British citizenship, anyone who's 15 years old or older, anyone who has a right to work but is not working at the moment and they also have to be living in the area. So it's quite a large scope yeah. of people we're mm. able to cover. Big catchment area too. Yes. yes. So you were saying about the things that you can actually perform on their behalf and get tuition for them. Shall we go through the list? Yes, we can go through the list. That would be great. People can access support through a key working system, which means that they, together with their key worker, can decide what support is right for them and what is it they need and want. And through that, they can access a variety of support, including access with English language, support with gaining more skills so that they can access employment. They can also access support through mentoring and befriending and get support with mental health, which could also be a great barrier for people to be able to access. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned work. key worker there. Do they come to you with a key worker or do you actually provide a key worker for them? Uh, the system of accessing the service would work through a referral where people can either refer themselves or somebody on behalf can do that. And when this is processed, they would be contacted by the local provider in the area and they would arrange a meeting with them. And that could be anywhere, either in their home or in the sort of local office mm -hmm. of the provider. So we can be very flexible in how that could be done. And also, which is a great advantage of this project, which because it's something which does not happen very often, to be able to include even wider range of people, we're able to offer support with childcare and support with travel expenses to appointments and for the activities. Sounds pretty comprehensive. So what's the role 
of the Women's Centre when it comes to connecting opportunities? The role which we have is very exciting for me, I have to say, because it's a very specific role looking at enhancing, embedding and exploring women-centred ways of working with all the partners. So I would meet all the partners and try and look at the ways they already work with the women. And when I talk about working with the women, it's not just working with the women, it's working with them in a way so that they have a voice which is being heard, so that they feel they can speak up and we can hear their stories through official reports, we can hear them why we'll shape the service. And when we, at the end, produce a final report, which I have very high hopes for, so that it's a document which will hopefully inspire and somehow also influence good practice in w working with women who come from different countries. I'm hoping that all of the tools and ideas and activities we will do with all of the partners across the project will come through this report so that we can channel the knowledge and the experiences, not of just the partners, but also of the women who've taken part in the project. Um, how busy are you in this Greater Leeds area? And if anybody actually needs the sort of help and advice you can get, how do they go about getting it? They would be able to either phone a number, they would be able to do it through a website, or they would be able to do it through even someone they know as a friend or maybe they might be already involved in some of the agencies and then the referral which will be then processed through the Migration Yorkshire set, sort of which is a central and lead organization on the project uh, and we at the moment are saying that we're able to get in touch with people within two weeks to be able to offer them initial session and sort of initial conversations about what sort of support they can get. My thanks to Veronica Suzatkova uh, of the Women Centre. I'm Dave Hodgson. On behalf of KLTV, goodbye. See you next week.